Colorado is a water attraction at the amusement park Liseberg in Gothenburg, Sweden. The ride opened back in 1997, but not at the opening of the park in April. For the first years, Colorado also had some really nice music playing inside the station and for some parts of the ride. Keep watching for all the information of this water ride and maybe a recreated version of the music. This is a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about something that I don't like. Yeah, you guessed it, a water ride. Please subscribe to Coaster Stop. Do it now, I am waiting. And also the like button. Okay, good, thank you so much for that. It makes me genuinely happy. Let's dive into the trough of Colorado. Seriously, don't do that. It would be very dangerous. And you would be banned from Lisabay for life. Don't do it, that was metaphorically speaking, just about this mini documentary. Colorado is a rapid river made by the Swiss company Intamin. Colorado is a part of the by the time brand new area of Lisabay, Lisabay's Ham or Lisabay Harbor. The area is 38,000 square meters and home to the so-called attraction El Dorado, a somewhat sponsored ride since it was made together with the electrical power company Vattenfall. The harbor also featured a brand new restaurant called Hamkrogen, which is still there today. It was also home to a coffee shop called Café Okai. I'm sorry guys, but I have to tell you something. We are back to the Gothenburg humor, and this is again a play on words. Café is just what it is. But okay is a very Gothenburgish way of saying okay. But the way it's spelled means... And the dock. You know, where you park your boat. So the name in English would be coffee and dock. Café okay. And of course, that's not all, there's also a O in there, which be means river in Swedish, and it's next to the river that runs through the park. So yeah, you get it, Café Okai. Coffee and dock by the river. Another thing that was new is the ship called Lisen, and she is also still in the park at the exact same spot. Fun story about Lisen though, she is a real ship. She has been a fishing boat by one of many things, but that is a completely different story. But what we are interested in today is the ride that has been built in the south area of the park. Let's go back in time to the year before. In September 1996 for Andra Sida. Oh my god. Another Gothenburg joke that we have to explain. In the middle of Liseberg, as I already mentioned, there is a river named Mundals Ån. Or is Swedish for river, but or can also be and or on. Or andra sidan would in English mean in the other side, but the or is used to point out that it is on the other side of the river. Anyway. Or andra sidan is closed in September of 1996 together with Villa Uponier. Villa Uponier was a fun house, which of course, in pure Elizabeth spirit, has a Gothenburg joke in its name. I am truly sorry. It is not the last one in this video either. The Villa Uponier joke is simple. Villa is villa or house. Up is up, or, or is and or river, and near is down, so villa upside down, but the river is crammed in there for the Lisbeth spirit. Villa, up or near. Again, in September 1996, this area of the park is closed forever, and villa up or near is demolished. This is of course to make way for the brand new ride coming for the 1997 season. Colorado was set to open with the park in April, but complications led to a delay and first in 17 of May the same year, the official opening ceremony was held. In the first year of operation, 
Colorado took 1,128,000 passengers for a ride. That's a third spot for that year. Only Flume Ride and Lisebergbanan had more riders. Quite impressive to be honest. Colorado is the first and still the only river rapids ride in Sweden. The station house is made in a lumberjack theme and has a huge rotating loading table which you walk over before entering the boats. The loading platform is also called revolver platform. The diameter of the platform is 18 meters. One thing worth pointing out with the station is that over the years the theming of the station and queue has gotten better due to the natural spider webs and so on. I really wish that this is intentional by the park to not clean it. If you're watching, keep doing what you're doing. Colorado is manufactured by the Swiss company Intamin. The track is 560 meters long and has 28 boats. Nine persons can ride in the same boat. The amount of water running in the trough of Colorado is 3 million liters of water. And the pump capacity is 120,000 liters per minute. Another pretty cool fact about the ride is the fall height is only 3.3 meters. Yes, the water keeps the boats flowing through the trough, but it feels like you're going down more than 3.3 meters in total. The ride starts with you boarding your raft or boat and start at a slow pace through the river. We continue the ascent towards the first turn, which is next to the Haunted House Hotel Gaston. If you're lucky, sometimes the ghost is standing outside waving to you while riding by. After you have taken this turn, you reach the first real splash zone. Not that you will know the first time you ride it. On your right side, or behind you, or in front, or on your left side, or wherever you're sitting in the boat, you'll see a big pile of lumber. But don't let that fool you. Inside the pile of logs, there are hidden water sprays. These come out in a random order to try and splash the riders. If you make your way through, you will reach the second turn. This will take you into a quite heavy mist or fog. Now your raft will also pick up speed since the river is getting faster and more heavy. Again your boat will make a turn and end up in quite heavy waves. It is quite normal to get stuck in this area and fight with other rafts trying to make their way around the track. But don't be fooled, there is more in this area. The spinning wheels on the sides further down can both get you going and make you bounce back and be stuck again. Around in this area was also where the camera was located for your ride pictures that you could buy after. Even though the camera itself is gone today, there is two hidden water sprays somewhere in this area. These can get you quite wet if you're unlucky or lucky, depending on who you ask. When you have made it through this area, your raft will make another turn at quite rapid speed before the trough getting much wider and the river comes down for the last part of the ride. Don't relax just yet though. There are some really sneaky water cannons hidden in this area. Not only do they make a great sound which scares the most people, but they're also the ride's final chance to get you really, really wet. Since the boats are moving at quite slow pace here, you can get lucky and get hit by more than one cannon. Or unlucky, if you ask me. There's also some light water streams that look innocent, but when hit right, it gets you wet, believe me. The last part of the ride is the lift hill back to the station. This is by far my favorite part of the ride. Not only because the ride is over, but it's quite themed and the sound of the lift hill mixed with the water, it's, it's just great. I, I really like this area and I love the station of Colorado. 
Back at the revolver platform, Alice Bergare will make sure your raft is secure and let you off to walk a quite dizzy walk to the exit. Not dizzy because of the ride, only because the spinning loading platform. And there you have it my friends, that is a ride in Colorado. So what about the music that I mentioned in the start of this video? Yeah, this is quite a mystery today. When the ride opened, and for a couple of years, they were playing a quite nice tune in the station and for parts of the ride. This is a feature that I really, really miss. I have been trying in every way to find out when the music was removed and to get a hold of the music, but I have had zero luck. This is something that I have brought up on the channel before and got some unexpected help. There is one follower that also has in his mind a tune that could be similar to what the music was sounding like in Colorado. Let's have a listen and please comment if you know if this is anyway similar to the real music that were on the ride. If anyone has any recording of the ride's early years, please let me know because I'd love to get my hands on it. Send me an email to fun at coasterstop.se if you have any information regarding the music on Colorado. Except from the music being removed, not much have changed for Colorado. Oh yeah, the ride photo is since long gone. The queue is not that long anymore, it was before all over this area here, and most of you know that it's not like that anymore. Of course, the vegetation have changed a lot, the trees and plants have now grown huge, and the crew of Lisevai that takes care of all the plants, trees and flowers are making a fantastic job with the whole park, not only Colorado. I mean, it's just stunningly beautiful to look at this ride today. Even if not that much have changed with Colorado, it doesn't mean that we're reaching the end of this mini-documentary. There is more. Colorado is not a suitable ride for Christmas, at least not in Sweden. So why have the ride just standing gathering dust during winter? No, said Lisebay after opening Jule for Lisebay or Christmas at Lisebay. During Christmas the queue area and the station is re-themed to Santaland. The queue is jammed with Christmas trees and the station itself becomes Santa's workshop. Kids can meet Santa and leave their wish list for Christmas gifts. It's not only for kids though, the theming is just great and it's a joy to walk through as an author too. I also have to let you in on a little secret. I think... no. I know that there is huge plans coming for Christmas at Lisebay this season 2022. It would clearly also be a perfect fit for a haunted house during Halloween, but we're not there just yet. I really hope that Lisebay is planning for it in the future. The theming is already there, so why not utilize it to the max and make Colorado a all-seasons ride? A really strange thing happened to Colorado once. During Christmas 2013, when Lisebay had reindeers in an area of the ride, one of them fell into the trough. I can assure you, no reindeers was hurt in this incident. Colorado have been involved in two accidents that I have information about. The first one happened in 2001, when a 14-year-old boy got trapped between a boat and the platform. He got a minor injury. The second one could have been way more serious. In 2007, a nine-year-old girl fell into the water after getting an accidental push from a family member. 
her heroic sister jumped in herself to save her. Both of them made it completely unharmed. And what do we take from this? Sit down in the boats. Never stand up. It can go wrong so fast. Colorado is a very scenic ride at Lisebay and does not lack in theming or the Lisebay spirit. It suits the park really well, and it's probably here to stay for quite some more years. I would personally replace the ride for something more fun, but that's me. I know how loved the ride is, and it will stay that way. I am pretty sure that some of you think that I have missed something. What about the Gothenburg Joe? that is the name of this ride? Let's finish strong and break down the name for you. For anyone not knowing about the humor of Gothenburg or knowing Swedish, Colorado would just make sense and be the Swedish spelling of Colorado since the famous river rafting of Colorado River. But no, we are at least a bay and we need to have a quirky Gothenburgish name for it. This is the heaviest one this far though. Because you see that Karl and Ada is the images of the typical Gothenburger citizens. Karl is also known as Kolle. The name of the ride is therefore the most genuine juice of Gothenburg humor in the park and the perfect ode to the city of Gothenburg. Kolle Rado. Colorado. You have watched a Coaster Stop theme park documentary about the River Rapids ride Colorado at Lisebay in Gothenburg, Sweden. Please like, comment and subscribe to our channel for more videos and mini documentaries.